Hello buddies, today we are going to study animals. We are going to learn about the life processes of animals, vertebrates and invertebrates. Let's get started. Life processes. Nutrition. Animals obtain energy substances from food. Sensitivity. Animals receive information about the environment through their sense organs. They send information to the brain and the brain decides what to do. And reproduction. Most animals need a male and a female to have offsprings. They can be oviparous or viviparous. Nutrition. Herbivores, they eat plants. Carnivores, they eat other animals. Omnivores, they eat animals and plants. Scavengers, they feed on dead animals. And decomposers, they feed on decaying matter. Characteristics of vertebrates. They have an inner skeleton made up of bones. They have a spinal column. Their body is divided into head, trunks and limbs. The limbs can be legs, fins or wings. And finally, they can be mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. Characteristics of the groups of vertebrates. Mammals. They breathe with their lungs. They have hair or fur, and they are viviparous. Birds. They breathe with their lungs. They are covered with feather. They have beak and wings, and they are oviparous. Reptiles. They breathe through lungs. They are covered with scales, and they are oviparous. Amphibians. They breathe through their lungs and skin. They have bare skin and they are viperous. And finally, fish. They breathe through their gills. They are covered with scales. They move with their fins and they are viperous. Characteristics of invertebrates. They don't have a spinal column. Some invertebrates have a shell, like snails. Some invertebrates have legs, like crabs, and some others have wings, like butterflies. The groups of invertebrates are sponges, cnidarians, worms, mollusks, and arthropods. Groups of invertebrates. Sponges. They are aquatic and live attached to rocks. They are covered with pores to filter nutrients from seawater. Cnidarians. Jellyfish are cnidarians. They have poisonous tentacles. Worms. They have long, soft bodies with no legs. Some can live inside our bodies and cause illnesses. Mollusks, they have soft bodies, and most of them have a shell. And finally, arthropods. They have a hard exoskeleton. Their bodies are divided into segments. Inside arthropods, we can find insects, spiders, crabs, and centipedes. And here you are an example of an insect, where you can see the head, the thorax, the abdomen, and then the wings, the legs, and the antennae. And this, students, is the end of the lesson. As you can see, there is a lot of information in this unit. So, watch the video many, many times. Bye-bye.